What's going on guys, the CTA Prime back here again. Today I'm gonna to be taking a look at Prime OS. Basically, this is an Android x86 operating system that you can install on your desktop or your laptop. Now by no means is this gonna replace your Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, but this is just something cool to mess around with. In the past, I've messed around with Remix OS, Phoenix OS, and even just Android x86. Now personally, I prefer using just Android x86, but I do have to say that Prime OS really brings that desktop experience to Android and it functions very well, at least on the hardware I'm using here. I was actually thinking about doing a tutorial and if you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments below. I kind of wanted to just show it off first to test the waters. It's really easy to install. You're going to flash to a USB drive and then install it to an internal hard drive or an SSD. But like I said, just kind of wanted to get it out there first to see how many people are interested. So the system I'm running this on is a Dell Optiplex 3020. I have four gigabytes of DDR3 and the CPU is an i3-4170 at 3.7 gigahertz. As for graphics, I'm just using the built-in Intel HD 4600 that comes along with the CPU. And as of making this video, Prime OS is based on Android Nougat. It's actually 7.1.2, but in the future, I'm sure they're gonna upgrade to Oreo because Android x86 has Oreo out and they just put out their new release of that it works really well straight out of the box you will have access to google play so you can go through here and install pretty much anything there are a few apps that i ran into that just won't launch on an x86 system but they're far and few in between but you will run into a few that just won't work overall i've had a really good experience with this i've been messing around with it for the last couple days i actually installed this about two weeks ago and just kind of let it sit for a little while then i recently updated it and wanted to show it off so the first thing I usually do with these new operating systems is run a couple benchmarks. First up, we got 3D Mark. Now there is no Vulkan support in this release, but the new Android x86 Oreo does have an experimental Vulkan, and in my experience, it has worked. But right now, Prime OS just doesn't have Vulkan support, so I had to run Slingshot Extreme instead of Slingshot Unlimited and scored a 3,106. Now this is a relatively low score in the terms of $800 Android phones, but we are dealing with hardware that wasn't specifically designed for Android, and this is on par, at least the score here, with the Galaxy S9 Plus. So the Galaxy S9 Plus scored around a 3200, this scores a 3106. The next benchmark I ran was Antutu, and I scored a 214,000. Now if we look at the score here, the CPU score is, is pretty high, but if we look at the GPU score, it's a little low because we're using that built-in Intel 4600. If we added a dedicated GPU, that's supported by Android x86, we could score a lot higher here. And finally, I ran a Geekbench. Uh, this should be the same score as if you ran the same thing in Windows on the same hardware. For the single core, 4,104. Multi-core, 7,474. I also installed a few games from Google Play. I just went to the top charts and found this one here just to see if it works. Works fine. Uh, Asphalt 9 also works. I also installed Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and PUBG. I'm going to show you those running now. You can use controllers with this operating system. I just plugged in an Xbox One controller because I don't have Bluetooth on this unit here and it works fine in San Andreas. This game works pretty well, but every once in a while you might notice a couple black bars come up on screen. Now I have seen this on lower end hardware before, um, I'm not really sure why it's doing it, but overall it is a playable experience. Next up, I'm going to test out PUBG. I wasn't able to use my controller, at least I haven't really gone into the settings and tried to, but you can use a keyboard. There is a key mapper built in, so when you start PUBG, it's going to pair you with people who are also using an emulator. So be prepared for that, but you're not going to get banned because they're pairing you with other people who are using an emulator with similar software installed. You can also go into the key mapper and adjust everything, and you probably want to do that because every time I hit my W key to go forward, use my mouse to move around, my character stops. So you will need to do some tweaking to get this working correctly. But the game is really smooth on the hardware I'm using. Now this is free to play, so you could install this and play PUBG for free. You just need to go into that key mapper and tweak it out like you want to. Okay. 
So I'll go forward and then when I try to move to the side, it kind of stops me from moving forward. You will have to mess around with the settings. So in the end, Prime OS is a pretty cool operating system to mess around with. Now, like I mentioned, this isn't going to replace your Windows, Linux, or Mac operating system, but you can have some fun with it. And there is a built-in updater, so you can get updates directly from Prime OS, and you don't have to reinstall. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in messing around with Prime OS, I'm going to leave a link to the XDA forum post where you can download it. And if you want to install tutorial, just let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel. And like always, thanks for watching.